I'm sitting here with Jem Casadelli, and you might know that name as she comes from a family of country music royalty as her dad is the incredible Troy Casadelli and her mum is a part of the number one breakfast radio team in Queensland. Her name is Laurel Edwards and Jem is making a name for herself as an emerging new artist. I've been following her online. Her music is beautiful and I'm really excited to have her come on tour with me this year. We're going to have a chat with Jem. Yay! Hi Darby! You're welcome! Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so with your DNA like that, did you uh, have any other career choice other than <laughs> the one you've got now? <laughs> oh, I think I just brought up in a family where I really just love music. I've, I've loved music for my whole life and always loved singing and playing with the fam. So I think, yeah, I've just, just couldn't really think of anything else that I love more than playing music. So I'm just so happy to do it. <laughs> yeah. So did you, like, how did you get started as a kid? I mean, I know you were classically trained on the piano and you play the guitar, yeah. you obviously sing, you write songs. Do you remember kind of the first memories of you getting into it? Yeah, I remember. I remember one time, mum and dad like picked me up from like the first day of grade one. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna, we've got a new piano. Like, we're gonna get you started on piano lessons." And this is like, I'd always just sung with the family, like been around it for like my whole life. But it was just that was the day that I was really like, I just really love this. Like, it's so much fun. And I think my parents always just said, you know, you shouldn't. We're not gonna tell you to practice, but if you want, you know, the piano's there. And I'd always just like drop my bag getting home from school and just like play for a few hours. I just couldn't get enough of it. So I think, um, yeah, from there, my passion has just always, always been there for it. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah. piano is your main instrument. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when did you sort of start writing songs? Did, did your dad teach you how to do that? Or did you <laughs> just like, I don't know, figure it out? Yeah, well, um, we used to just like, just for fun, we'd always like write poems and, and do that sort of thing. But just when we were bored, but I think um, my real passion just started when I when I first got to high school and I started doing like more vocal lessons and stuff like that. I just really started, yeah, getting into poetry and started um, really loving just writing on my own. So um, only recently have I co-written with a few people, which has been pretty exciting. But most of the time, yeah, I've just just kind of written alone. But I've just always loved it and had a had a passion for it. So yeah. yeah. Let's talk about co-writing because I I do co-writing as well, but I've I always feel kind of nervous going into it, and sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. And what's your experience there? Yeah, well, I'm definitely very very new to it, and I think it took me a lot of motivation from um, my manager, especially, to just be like, you know, I'm just gonna book these rights, and you, because I was so so petrified of doing them, like I was. <laughs> You know, it's you're very vulnerable, I guess, when you're putting your ideas out there, especially when you've already started a song. And so, yeah, my manager's like, I'm just going to I'm just going to book them in. And you've got no choice and you're just going to rock up. And then I was like, I'm absolutely petrified. But what after the first five minutes, you get to know someone and let, like, letting that guard down is the first step. Mm. And then from then on, it's it's usually just, yeah, it's I, I find it quite fun, but definitely the first couple of rides. I still get very, very nervous. I've only been doing it for probably like six months or a year. So mm -hmm. it's pretty scary. But um but yeah, it's just it's just quite fun as well to be able to share your ideas with someone. I think um it moves the song along quite quickly and yeah. takes it in a direction that sometimes you don't expect. Do you find that as well sometimes that Yeah, do you I don't know, so for me I think it's the balance between still keeping it sounding like my songs and then somebody else's idea taking it on board but still you know like trying to work out how much of it you want to keep it for yourself and how much yeah. you let them kind of take over I don't know definitely do you, do you find that 100 percent. it's um you you want to you definitely want to go along with someone's idea like they want to take it a certain direction but you want to also keep it authentic to what mm. you want and the sort of style that you want I, I definitely understand that because it's it's easy to be led in a direction as well that with a song that you don't really want to take it. Mm. Like, but are you quite good at being vocal about it when you don't necessarily <laughs> like their idea? Sometimes, or... sometimes. If if I really if I'm really not thinking that it's the direction that I want to take a song, that I'll speak up. But sometimes it's also good to just experiment with 
with different sort of styles and, and, you know, just let someone else take the reins with a song as well. I think that that's also good. But See what happens. Yeah, just it's mm. finding the happy medium for me and just knowing that if I'm going to release it, I just want it to also sound like me. So that's, yeah, that's I think that's, of yeah, it's very important, I think, yeah. So you toured with your dad and you played over 80 shows in one year. <laughs> How did you not like kill kill each other or <laughs> do you still talk to him or <laughs> we're, we're on speaking terms no it was um yeah it was a huge year like I think it was definitely a big learning experience for me but it, it made us closer I think it was it was really great to um to be able to just play music for a whole year straight and I'd just gotten out of school so I didn't really know what I wanted to do mm. and I was like look I'll take a gap year I'll just, you know, just uni will go on the back burner for a little while. I casually I, play 80 shows. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it was really good to just really tag along and just see how everything works, I think. And um, yeah, I just, I just love the whole experience. I love going from soundcheck. I had such a good routine going and um, it was fun. It was, I'm so glad that dad gave me the opportunity to do it because I just wouldn't be able to learn these things if it wasn't for him. So yeah, it was Busy year, but it was mm. great. It was yeah. great fun. Yeah. I can imagine you just learned so much from watching him. Yeah. Doing that many shows. Oh, definitely. Now you're coming on tour with me. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I'm really excited to have you. I, I think you're really fantastic and I think my audience would really love watching you and Thank listening you. to your songs. And you're releasing a new song as well. I am. In July, which is when the tour is on. So yeah. we'll... We get to hear some of that on tour. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's um, it's gonna be a little sneak peek, I guess, before it comes out. But it's gonna be out late July, which is very exciting. Gem's coming with me to play in all the Queensland dates, New South Wales, and the Canberra date. Are you going to sing something for us today? I I definitely will. I think I will sing a Maggie Rogers song for you all today, and it's one of my all-time favorite songs, and I love absolutely love performing it and it's called love you for a long time so I'll play that one for you today <laughs> you came in like a vision from the old west when like a brand new dream i was stepping I saw your face and I know it was a sign And I still think about that moment all of the time You know that I can never make this up I found the reason I'm not giving it up I felt the fever I know it was mine Oh, I'm gonna love you for a long time But in the morning when I'm waking up I swear you're the first thing that I'm thinking of I feel it in my body Know it in my mind Oh, why I'm gonna love you for a long time Oh, you never knew it, yeah, you took me by surprise While I was getting lost so deep inside your diamond eyes So many things that I still want to say If devotion is a river, then I'm floating away But in the morning when you pick me up And all the world is quiet except the morning dove I feel it in my body, no Keep your hands in my head Keep your mouth on my mouth Don't slow this down Never let me go Baby, don't you wanna see How far this thing can go But in the morning when you pick me up And all the world is quiet 
quiet except the morning dove I feel it in my body, know it in my mind Oh why, I'm gonna love you for a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time For a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time I'm gonna love you for a long time